countless shooting stars streak the sky tonight. If you can pick the right one, it will carry your wish to thousands of distant worlds. You're feeling very relaxed now, aren't you? So, then, it's time to tell you a little bedtime story. Well, let's start with a conclusion. The crew was defeated in the battle against Sunday. Everyone in Panacone failed, and no one survived. But, don't panic. The truth, as horrifying as it may be, is not yet irreversible. There's still a glimmer of hope, and that's why I'm here. Next, I'll use this empty light comb that carries all your memories to relive everything that happened before. And when this story reaches its end, I'm sure someone as clever as you will notice that. There's a major flaw in the story you have experienced, yet within that flaw lies a glimmer of hope. Are you ready for it? Do you remember everything? When the clock turned back, the Express started a warp jump, sending you to a strange dream. You were bewildered back then, and then a galaxy ranger named Acheron showed you a way out. When you arrived at the Reverie Hotel, you met the doorman Misha and had a confrontation with a Venturine, an IPC representative. Thankfully, Acheron appeared again and helped you. After that, you saved Firefly and explored Panacone together. During the tour, you ran into Sparkle disguised as Sampo and accidentally entered a child's dream. There, I rescued both of you from death, but Firefly didn't return to reality. She realized the truth and tried to involve you in her plan, but that resulted in an accidental death. Even more unsettling, you soon encountered another murder. The two cases of death prompted you to investigate the truth behind the sweet dream. Despite your efforts to gather information about the two victims, you didn't make much progress. But you did learn about the Watchmaker from Gallagher. Meanwhile, Aventurine was secretly carrying out his scheme, in which you were one of the pawns. In the midst of a fierce battle, Acheron revealed her true identity as an emanator of the Nihility, and unsheathed her sword. That strike foiled Aventurine's plan, and opened a passage between the Sweet Dream and the original Memory Zone. Upon your arrival at Dreamflux Reef, you learned the truth that death was actually dormancy, as well as the truth about the Dreamscape, the Stellaron, and the bellboy, Misha. You split up with Sunday and Robin, looking for a way to seal the Stellaron. However, it turned out that Sunday and the Dream Master had their own hidden agenda. And you had to engage in an ultimate duel on the stage of the Charmony Festival. Finally, the story reached its conclusion. You emerged victorious, with the Trailblaze triumphing over the Order and Panacone embracing a bright and peaceful future. This marks the end of the thrilling journey in Panacone. I'm sure you've already noticed something unusual, haven't you? The major flaw, which contradicts all the known information, hides in this story.
Well, although the fake deaths of those two ladies don't align with our initial assumptions, this fact itself doesn't contradict the information we have so far. I'll go ahead and eliminate that incorrect answer for you. So, what is the fatal variable? Hmm, <laughs> little Misha. Or should I call him the Watchmaker? He's only a segment of memory in a dream bubble, but his ambition for the Trailblaze led him to leave the bubble and embark on a grand adventure in Penacony. Well, Misha is a rather special memory zone meme, and he was granted power by the Trailblaze, there's still one thing that he shouldn't be able to do. A life born in the memory zone could never manifest in reality. So, why did he appear in the Reverie Hotel in reality? The answer is simple. He is the one fatal variable that contradicts all our known information. This means that you, who wholeheartedly believe in this memory, are still trapped in the dreamscape at this very moment. Wake up, sleepyhead. Break free from this eternal dream and return to the real world. We'll find our answers there. The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, This way, darling. Not another one. Thank you so much, Black Swan. <laughs> Finally, I can breathe a sigh of relief. I understand you must be confused, and we'll do our best to shed light on the situation. However, before that, it's essential to know that... This place is the rift between dream and reality. A place reserved only for those who have awakened from Enna's dream. Do you remember Sunday's ambitious plan? He intended to harness the power of the Stellaron the collective will of over 100,000 Oak family members, and the desires of everyone in Penacony to usurp the harmony and restore the order. Unfortunately, it didn't stop there. From the early days of our journey into Asdana, we were already affected by the Stellaron, that strange dreamscape where we met. Maybe it was a sign that your thoughts were beginning to drift away. I don't think the goal of the Order was to put everyone into a deep sleep. Quite the contrary. They used the Stellaron to catalyze the leakage of Astana's Memoria into the material world, allowing the dreamscape to blend with reality. And that included a lot of Memoria from the Beyond the Sky Choir. As time came and went, the dreams eventually became indistinguishable from reality and reality became an illusion. People think they are awake, but their spirits have long since stepped into the Temple of Order. This is what makes Anna's dream so powerful. In this paradise governed by the Order, everyone indulges in their delightful dreams and lives happily ever after. 
I believe what you experienced in the sweet dream, except for that flaw, was real. Only in this way could you reach the destination, lifting the crisis in Panacone and embarking on your next trailblazing expedition. If it wasn't for Acheron's plan, we might have been trapped in this dream forever. Fortunately, while the path of the Order governs all things, it can't affect the Nihility. I came to realize this when the Dream Master tried to expel me at any cost. This is also why you felt a sense of peculiarity when traveling with her. Well, I'm not as fortunate as she is. Even if I'm a memo keeper, I was still influenced by the power of the Order and fell into hallucinations. However, thanks to your memories, now we still have a chance to turn the tide. For mortals, even if they possess the great power of a path, they can't create a flawless world like gods do. That's why there was a flaw in your dream. In other words, once you have realized the world is not real, you'll have a chance to break free from the dream. The flaw in your dream lies within Misha, who could have never appeared in reality. When I turned the pages of your memories, I realized that I was in an illusion too. Now Sunday has usurped the power of the Harmonious Choir through the Charmony Festival. As Donna has thus fallen into Anna's dream, transforming everyone equally into the notes of the Eon. Failure doesn't mean weakness. Only the strong can gather the will to resist the Order and try to break free. We still have a chance, though. To make it happen. Please, Black Swan, guide us to those with a strong will. All right, please come with me. These people are... They're the ones who accept Enna's dream and indulge in their happy illusions. We have no means to wake them up now. Not even your clockwork will do the trick. However, there are still other things we can do. Let's keep going. Here we are. It's... Robin? Finally, you've arrived. Let me introduce you to Robin. She woke up from Anna's dream by her own will, and it's this tough lady who led us here with her song. I woke up for the same reason as all of you. In the dream, I experienced something that could never occur in reality. Are we going to lock it up in a cage? I want to see it fly freely in the sky! Without us, this bird would be too fragile to survive on its own. Do you want it to die? No, but... <sighs> then let's take care of it together until it can return to the sky. Uh, uh huh? Birds have wings because they're meant to fly. Even if they may crash on the ground one day, they shouldn't be trapped in a cage. <laughs> Birds belong to the sky, so we should help them return there, right? The illusion was so impossibly blissful that I realized it was just a dream. And this is our final hope. Anna's dream is founded upon the Harmonious Choir. Namely, everyone shared wishes. It will only materialize once the aspirations of all beings in Penacone merge as one. At present, it has become impervious due to people's desire to remain slumbering within the dream. And in order to destroy it, We must make everyone in Panacone want to wake up. 
Now comes the tricky part. How do we do it? Humans yearning for sweet illusions borders on obsession, leading them to subconsciously resist the harsh reality. Therefore, I carefully selected a moment where she was completely unguarded, guiding her to uncover the truth herself to make her regain her consciousness. However, to wake up everyone in Panacone and get them to share the same determination, that would be nearly impossible. Indeed. I'm afraid it's almost as difficult as resurrecting an eon. But we can't just stay here and do nothing. This is a critical moment for the whole universe. Who cares about some dumb number? <laughs> Thanks to Black Swan. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And thanks to the Memo Keepers and Panacone, too. I believe your partners have also awakened from their dreams. This is the first step of our plan. With the assistance from the Garden of Recollection, those who possess a strong will, like you, will gradually awaken from the dream. These free wills are the discord that will sway Anna's dream. However, awakening a mere handful of individuals is insignificant compared to the vast number of people immersed in the dream. We must find other ways to awaken the free will of millions of people within a short period of time. If breaking through from the inside proves challenging, we can seek assistance from the outside. We've long been aware of a potential solution. As Donna is a galaxy known for its abundant memoria and the remarkable phenomenon known as Synesthesia Dreamscape. When people first enter this place, they often find themselves and others sharing a collective dream. At this very moment, there is only one dream encompassing the entire Asdana system. So, you mean... If we can attract a large number of outsiders to this system, their free will would intertwine with this dream and shake it to its core. However, those outsiders might also succumb to the dream and become the foundation of the Order instead. The real challenge is, how can we gather a huge number of people as determined as you within a short period of time? <sighs> Looks like the Jade Abkiss of Allying Oath will be the only solution. No. No need for that. Keep your once-in-a-lifetime treasure. We don't need to bother the Sienjo Alliance for such a tiny request. Y you want thousands of people with unwavering free will? <laughs> That's easy. Just leave it to us Galaxy Rangers. You can gather Galaxy Rangers? <laughs> Outsiders may see Galaxy Rangers as elusive and disconnected individuals, and actually, they're right. And that's why we have a tacit understanding among us. Do you know what it is, Acheron? It's the relic I return to you. Exactly. Its owner must have told you that it's meaningless to anyone other than a Galaxy Ranger. And that it can only fulfill its purpose when returned to its rightful owner. Because it's a burial artifact. Worthy only of a hero who has served the Galaxy Rangers with honor. When its light illuminates the universe, it means the fall of a hero. And in the direction it falls. Countless meteors will streak across the sky. Those meteors are galaxy rangers, coming from all corners of the cosmos, driven by a shared purpose, without questioning the cause or counting the cost, because we abide by a common principle. 
The shooting stars of the hunt only descend on the longest night. And with them comes the dawn. We've stayed silent for far too long. Now, it's time to remind all the cowards, oppressors, and villains of the universe of our presence. I'll be the one to ignite the first spark. Once the dreamscape is swayed, I'll complete the second step. I'll fine-tune the slumbering souls with the Song of the Harmony, interrupting them with the discord of Trailblaze, and guiding them towards reality. It's true that some people are born strong, and others are born weak. If the Trailblaze is the target of heroes, then the Harmony will guarantee that the strong help the weak. Only the people of Penaconi themselves can be the saviors of their homeland. Their path of happiness should be forged by themselves. While I may not be a nameless, I'm willing to instill courage in all those who need it. This includes my brother as well. Anna's dream is too cruel for him and everyone else. Your plan sounds well-conceived, but still, it appears somewhat idealistic and romantic. The flaws rooted in human nature can't be eradicated overnight. Do you believe these efforts alone are enough to convince everyone to choose the right path? I agree with you, Black Swan. That's why the most critical aspect of this plan is not to convince everyone to choose the right path, but to inspire them to save themselves. <laughs> so, you're the key in the end, I assume? The Harmonious Choir possesses the power of an emanator. To overcome it, you'll need the same level of power. The final step in destroying the sweet dream will be my responsibility. That's a relief to hear. <sighs> now that our roles are assigned, let's get to our battlefields and pose a grand finale. May I have a moment alone with you? There's one more thing I need to explain to you. This grand festival is drawing to its close. This is the starting point for the ultimate stage of our journey. Just as it marked the beginning of all the stories in Panacone. I have faith in you. However, before we depart, there is one more thing I must tell you. There's something you should know. We were able to locate you within this boundless dream and find the key to breaking free from the dream, all because of one person's unwavering dedication. Firefly. She awakened from the dream ahead of others discovered the Express amidst the stars, and brought us valuable information about the remnants of the Order. She may have been aided by the script, and it came at a cost. As you know, Firefly is a stowaway who entered the dreamscape in a different way from ours. Without the dream pool in the hotel or assistance from the family, she can only awaken from this dream in one way. A real death. We mustn't fail her determination. I'm not implying that we must win this fight no matter what, but our resolve should match that of that courageous lady. Are you ready? Very well. Now, please close your eyes. Oh. How long has this rain 
been ongoing. If I remember correctly, it has lasted for decades, or even centuries. The unwavering determination of the hunt followers persists even in death. But thankfully, we've guided those lost souls to their lives beyond. They were heroes in their time. And they won't be reduced to puppets of the nihility in their death. You see, the shadows on the sea have vanished. Do you remember? He once said that the sky would clear when the regrets of the departed had faded away. But it's still... I know. So, why is all this? Why did this rain choose me? Because someone's regrets haven't been fulfilled, perhaps. Mortals who walk the paths are like sailors on a vast ocean, leaving behind a trail that creates countless ripples of possibilities. These ripples last longer than the fleeting lifetimes of humans. And for some, their presence leaves such a strong mark that it's reflected in the waves. Sin thirsters. The obsessions of the past writers. They emerge from the depths of Ix, seeing themselves as masters of their own destiny unknowingly repeating the actions of their past lives. They emerge from the nihility and head toward it, leading purposeless lives. However, these hollow phantoms, they have journeyed with me for such a long time. Oh, so this is how it ends. Yes. Are you watching over me? This is my duty, as Acheron the Watcher. I'm guarding the path to the Abyss of the Nihility, guiding every soul reluctant to become one with it. Back to this side. But... If this is what the Departed Ones expected, should you try to change it? I don't know. But someone once told me that when the inevitable moment came, he hoped that someone would stand at his grave and place a bouquet of flowers. Even if it doesn't make sense at all. Some tasks have to be done, even if they are pointless. I have experienced that much already. Please extend your hand and then close your eyes. I'll carry your wish with me and fulfill it. Only then will I be able to put an end to the final regret by the Dead Sea. Will I ever see them again? Yes, that is certain. Because it was you who told me about the Express, your two former companions. The expedition cut short by the swarm, your narrow escape from death and your encounter with the Galaxy Rangers. And Panacomi, the hometown to which you could never return. Yeah, for countless times, I got rejected by the family and had to pass it by. But I knew that my companion was still there. Are you still there? Take my hand and come with me. You'll embark on a long, 
long journey, shrouded in darkness. But fear not, as a touch of red will be awaiting you at the end of the path. That's the color of existence. Follow it, and it'll guide you and illuminate the way out. By doing so, you'll eventually reunite in the warmth of the sunlight. Thank you. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. Welcome to the horizon of existence. This place is one of the thousands of manifestations belonging to the sleeping and shapeless. And it's also an exit out of the nihility for the awake ones. Let's bid our final farewells here. Always distinguish between reality and imagined- Life is akin to a winding labyrinth where memories serve as our soul. May your schemes be forever concealed. Anna's dream is too cruel for him and everyone else. To the imperfect tomorrow. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? Why does life slumber? We don't know the answer yet. But we are about to awaken from this dream. Or perhaps such is the answer itself. Leave this place. Return to where you belong. And awaken Panacone from this dream. As I said, our plan is not about convincing everyone to choose the right path, but about inspiring them to save themselves. So, when will people actively save themselves? The answer is, when they are in desperate situations. Like a drowning individual in the deep sea. When one's body and mind bear immense pressure, agony, confusion, and despair will follow. I firmly believe that. The fragility of humankind often freezes them in their tracks, but in truly desperate situations they will strive to save themselves. And now, Panacone has enough heroes to lead them forward. It's through this inherent, self-centered instinct that people exert their utmost effort, even when they know their struggle is fruitless. As absurd as it may seem, it's their resistance. As for now, it is time to guide them, not as a savior, but as a nameless among those mortals. In this way, you will reunite in the warmth of the sunlight. The rain is intensifying. Before we part ways, please allow me to ask a few final questions. So far, you have forged unbreakable bonds with numerous individuals and entities in the sweet dream. Might I ask, if you fear severing these bonds with your own hands? If there is a vast, lifelike dreamland that is virtually indistinguishable from reality, a realm without death, where everyone can attain the happiness and fulfillment they deserve, living blissfully ever after, I would ask, would you wish to stay? Imagine if this 
splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I'm glad. The answer itself doesn't matter. What matters is that you've made a decision. Listen, touch, and ponder. And therein lies the sensation. Cherish it, because that's what makes us exist. Such is the only answer humans can offer when facing the nihility. If the nihility represents the primal fear of life, rendering any lofty convictions insignificant under their imposing shadow, then behind this shadow, there must exist the most fervent source of light in the world. Just as every life that edges closer to death fervently approaches the end of the nihility, We must pursue that primordial light. No, I don't think that you exist in the nihility. And you watch over others to depart it. Such a task is absurd and meaningless. Nevertheless, someone had to do it. As for the meaning you mentioned, even if it's a meaningless task. I've come this far, haven't I? Even if the future you forge may not even belong to you. It may not belong to me, but it definitely belongs to someone. Oh. What hardships you must have experienced. In that case, allow me to do something meaningless, too. Please, tell me the name. Perhaps my existence will vanish in the next moment. Nobody will remember this conversation or your answer. I believe that your name should be remembered and this universe will remember it as well. For me, some things are difficult to recall, yet there are others that I find challenging to forget. Such is memory, a creation of the past that blossoms into significance in the distant future. I remember that marks the start of my journey, the origin of the vibrant red hue in my life, and the most fervent element amidst every tempest. That's my name. Raiden Ozenmori. May. The Golden Dream is getting restless. In the coming long nights, I'm afraid you will face many setbacks and witness many tragedies. 
And in the end, you will only see in black and white. But please believe me, that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will appear once more. What you must do is ponder its significance, then return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. of precise machinations. something for you. Perhaps you still- Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Why is everybody silent? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. The noise is fading. A quick divination. Let's play our own melody. Let the show begin! Awaken from your dream! Again? Sink into a dream! Ha! If you have any objection, feel free to make your case. Again? I'll take the lead. Wake up! You won't get away! Night of solitude. 
Perhaps you see. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Keep up with me. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. You won't get away. If we had never experienced solitude, how could we have embarked on different paths? Now, our final talk has concluded. All the work of creation has been completed. The inevitable day has arrived. The embryo of philosophy will reshape for us all of reality! If your paradise can save more people, sever my path with your hands! I swear on the truth. Destiny for oblivion. All things human, creations! I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Awaken, judge of the world! Again? No man. Converge and awaken! I'll take the lead. It's wake up from our dreams. First year of the AE 2158, a fiery conspiracy erupted in the land of the dreams, but soon faded in chaos and destruction. Whispers carried the tale of those fateful 48 system hours when a sun teetered on the precipice of collapse, a paradise stood on the brink of destruction, and a world was poised to surrender to its new master. Amidst it all, a body decayed, a pack of vultures gathered, and a brother and sister were doomed for eternal separation. And so, an eon succumbed to slumber once more. Some celebrated this fall, while others mourned. Among the insignificant witnesses 
mere specks in the vast tapestry of the universe. It was said that this time, the Eon met their demise with dignity. As the cosmos bathed in the radiance of a pure dawn, a tempestuous storm brewed on the horizon. The chant of everything for the Amber Lord grew ever louder. Yet, no matter how one contemplates it, time inexorably swings Klopot's colossal hammer in eternal cycles. The tale of the Astral Express reaches both its conclusion and a new beginning. Time marches forward, heralding the arrival of a new chapter in the history of trailblazing expeditions. Brother, do you think... The stars will fade away. Where did that come all of a sudden? Because the constellation that looks like a bird, the Torrid Eagles, looks a bit dim lately. <laughs> it's the Torment Eagles. Don't worry, it's still there. It's just it's located in the inner ring of Penacony and can only be seen when spring and summer overlap. As for the question you asked, I think stars do die, just like people. But do you know, sister? No star actually belongs to the present. The light we see from them is from a long time ago. Even after the stars perish, their light will travel millions of light years, spanning countless years, to illuminate the night sky of another world. In our paradise, I believe there will be a star like that, shining with the same light. Its radiance will last forever, and its name will be happiness. No, not just one star. We should have two stars, or maybe even more. Yeah, you're right. It's a deal. It's a deal, then. This is our promise, and nothing will sway our ideals. Yeah, you bet!
pleasure to hear your voice again. Congratulations. You've become the biggest winner of this festival. Are you calling just to poke fun at me? No. I'm just impressed. Not only did you venture alone into Penacony and discover the truth of Dreamflux Reef, but you also managed to escape with the help of that Knight of Beauty. Remember the recording you received from your Trailblaze friend? It's now the most valuable chip in this game. However, this came at a high cost. Losing a cornerstone is a hefty price to pay. Diamond just called a meeting to discuss what to do with you. Just as I expected. So is Diamond planning to demote me? Or kick me out of the Ten Stone Hearts? <laughs> Why don't you take a wild guess? Well, alright. Then I'll guess. He's going to promote me to P46? Alright. What will you wager? Are we talking about a real bet here? I don't want to wager anything just to escape your clutches. But, if it's just a friendly bet, I'll put on the line what I did when we first met. I'll bet my life, ma'am. Interesting. But, since it's Diamond's call, no one can predict the outcome. I'm on my way to Penacony. Once everyone is settled, we'll return to Pier Point for the final showdown. Sounds like I'll be out of the action for a while. Finally, a chance to kick back and relax. Yeah. Leave everything to me and Topaz, child. Thanks to you, as soon as the Jade Stone was delivered to the family's compound, we finished up our preparations. The seeds we planted have taken root. Soon, it'll be time to reap the rewards. Huh? Let's wrap it up for now. Looks like I've got a visitor here. Oh, so many surprises today. Didn't expect a Galaxy Ranger and wanted criminal to show up here. One who managed to take out two IPC members under the noses of our fleet. Do you understand what that means? Screw Wubba Boo, I just put him to sleep. Don't try to intimidate me with that nonsense. Besides, I've taken down more IPC lackeys than the residual value you squeezed. And I don't mind adding a few more zeros to my wanted poster. I have a question for you. Be honest, or I don't mind putting a bullet into your head. Tell me, where is Oswaldo Snyder? <laughs> 